I was an executive chef at the Beacon Bar and Grill in Lake Tahoe, executive chef of uh, Park Prime Steakhouse. COVID came along and shut it all down. It destroyed the restaurant that I was in from the bottom up, a place that was doing $50,000 a day to zero overnight. Nevada's tourism-based economy was especially vulnerable to the pandemic. Nearly a third of the workforce claimed unemployment benefits at some point, and economists fear many jobs may not be coming back. The loss of 50,000 jobs, whether that's to automation or that's to um, industries that are no longer here or businesses that are no longer in operation here in our state, that's definitely something that's on the front of our minds. The state is trying to encourage people to retrain for jobs that are in high demand, including the trades. Abigail Ritz was studying to be a preschool teacher when the tedium of online classes convinced her to look at becoming a mechanic. I was miserable. Well, I was miserable through that online semester, and I was like, I'm struggling with everything. I don't want to sit here behind a computer. I spent the last two summers working at Lake Lahontan. I worked all maintenance. Uh, we worked in the dirt, we were putting ballards in, we'd make fences, stuff like that. So then I just realized, okay, I was like, I'm not doing this online stuff, I'm just gonna go start working with my hands. Our responsibility is to make sure that we are flexible, innovative, and can make sure that when somebody has made that decision, that there are opportunities that are available to them. A lot of times that means working with students who are much older than their classmates. Anthony Simon suffered a back injury while working for a trucking company and was forced to decide between a cash settlement or vocational rehab at community college. I had a choice. Basically, you can take a payout or you can get voc rehab for two years. I was never a great student. I'm dyslexic and you know I've got some other uh, you know issues in that area with learning disabilities and stuff like that. Being a big guy, people would think that you know, you, you know he doesn't have any fear and all that. Dude, I'm telling you. It's scary and it was a hard decision for me to make. Our community college system is set up for what we call the non-traditional learner. This is their expertise, right? This is what they do and have been doing for decades now. Okay. The counselors here are super helpful. If you go into the main office and just sit down with them, they'll walk you through the scholarships. This whole thing's paid for and I have $35 left over and I'm changing careers. Breaking down the barriers for people changing careers is a big part of NCHI's workforce development strategy. Ritz was able to pursue her passion for cars because of a scholarship specifically for in-demand careers. The biggest thing with mechanics is that I'm curious and I have to know what's going on. There's a lot of comfort in a shop. I don't know why I find comfort in a shop. Oh, a shop it smells great. What a good day to be alive. Every day I get to come into the office and work on these strategic efforts, right? These things that I think have the potential to transform the way workforce development, training, education, higher education in the state of Nevada are delivered. I say learn a trade. We need welders, we need plumbers, we need electricians, and they're far and few between right now and lots of work out there. <laughs>